What is up RC enthusiasts? Today we're going to be talking about the TRX-4Ms right here. One little problem I found that nobody really is talking about. I'm not sure if anyone else has noticed this, or maybe not, but yeah, this right here. I noticed this while doing service to these guys after my mud run, and I realized, oh man, this is kind of weird right here. Let's check it out. Let's check out the TRX-4M Defender right here, as you can tell. The axle right here, it's not quite straight. It's a little bit bent, like this. As you can tell, the wheels are kind of towed, so yeah, those are not supposed to be towed. It's supposed to be just straight, the rear straight axle. But, as you can see right here, they're bent. You could even tell, you could really tell they're bent. Let me pull out the Bronco right here. And the Bronco's more bent. And I have a leaking shock, but we'll leave that for another video because there's an easy fix to that. It's just a bad shock design, really, to that bottom cap. But, yeah, I've figured out a way to kind of fix it. So if yours is leaking like this, just go ahead and uh, wait for my new video. And I'll show you guys what I do to fix that. It's really, really simple. And so far it's worked for me, but I'm not sure if it'll work 100%, but so far it has worked for me. Yeah, well, anyway, I just want to make this a short PSA. Just, you know, look at that. That's just... They're bent, you know? The only way I can see them fixing this is maybe a brass or aluminum axle housing or a support somehow, or maybe even uh, if they want to keep it plastic, they're gonna have to redesign, you know, the plastic or change the formula of the plastic so it's a little bit harder and not so soft and flexy. But you know, with stiffer plastic also comes more breakage usually, but with a small scale like this, I think they can get away with stiffer plastic for this. But the front ones don't show that same problem because they're a little bit shorter and they're a lot more supported. Not like this one right here because it's one piece all the way to the end right there and yeah, it's just a lot of flex. It's just one whole axle piece. Well, there you go guys. Just one little issue I found with my TRX-4Ms right there. You know, not too big of a deal, but if you're running bearings instead of bushings, there's a lot of binding going on back there. So you're definitely going to feel that. And it's also going to destroy your bearings a lot faster that way. So that's the one bad thing I see about that is it's going to be a bearing destroyer because it's putting a lot of wear and a lot of stress on the bearings by binding that way. It doesn't matter if you're using bushings or bearings. It's going to be a faster wear. It's going to be a rob of your power and battery. So, and also some smoothness to the rig. But anyway, that's one thing I haven't seen people talk about. And I just wanted to bring it up to see if anybody else on here has seen it or experienced it or has heard about it. And maybe if they know, if there's a fix for it. Well, all right, guys. Thanks for watching as usual. I just wanted to be a short PSA right here. And, you know, as always, be safe out there. Have fun. And go run that RC.